not. What I will tell you is this is where cross posting pays off. This item was saturated on eBay. Uh, there's no way. I don't think that I would have got. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to share with you 32 items that I sold on Mercari. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, Mercari, if you're not on Mercari, I definitely recommend it. I typically start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark. Poshmark has been amazing lately. Um, Mercari, it's coming in third right now. But anyway, there's a video down below that shows you how I cross post. If you want to check that out, I use this perfectly. If you watch that video and you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. All right, we are going to dig right into these Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. And the first item I sold are these vintage plush mini bean bags. And I don't remember where I got these. Um, I don't do a very good job on Mercari of keeping track. Like on eBay, I can kind of see my notes and on Mercari, I cannot. So um, I may not recall, but I feel like these came from a garage sale and like a bulk toy lot that I picked up. I ended up selling these for $19 and free shipping on those. The next item came out of a thrift store mystery box. It was new with tags and I listed this and it sold the quickest on Mercari. So these items are cross posted to Poshmark, Mercari and eBay and they sold faster on Mercari. Um, I wanna talk about shipping. I do free shipping on Mercari. People have asked me about that. Why do I do that? I just feel like with Mercari, you get a little bit of a push with free shipping and also with Mercari shipping labels, I feel like I can ship it cheaper than their labels using Pirate Ship. And Pirate Ship is free. If you guys have are not using it, it's a great resource. Um, so that's just what I do. Now, some of my bigger items, I will use Mercari shipping, like if they're heavy. Okay. The next item I sold is this Loving Family Dollhouse food and trays. I sold these for $23 with free shipping. So Loving Family is a great item to pick up. Typically bread and butter, but they do sell on all platforms. I have sold quite a few bundles over on Poshmark. All right, this vintage metal fabric bag dollhouse vacuum. Talk about a nice little bolo here. I picked this up at an estate sale in a huge lot of um, dollhouse furniture. They had a house there and I did not want the house, even though the house was absolutely amazing. And after I've been seeing what Be Carried Away, Carrie uh, has been selling dollhouses for. If you guys are not following Be Carried Away on YouTube, you definitely need to go sub her up. She is amazing and a bolo finder, but she has been picking up dollhouses like, you know, the handmade built ones that are amazing and vintage. And this one was handmade but I was just too afraid to ship it. So I left it behind and I grabbed the furniture. So my cost of goods on this was probably a dollar or less. And I sold this for $31 free shipping. The next item is this Disney Infinity Figures, Marvel, Iron Man, Thor, and Spider-Man. I pick these up whenever I see them. Most of the time they are bread and butter. Um, this one actually sold for $33 with free shipping, which is pretty good. They are Marvel, but I don't, I don't know. I, I looked up comps and that's what I priced it based on. But I don't remember if there was one figure that kind of brought the value up or not. And I get these at the Goodwill bins. I get these at thrift stores. There's actually a guy at the Goodwill bins that whenever he finds these, he brings them over and gives them to me because he knows I always pick them up. And a lot of them, um, they're long tail and they're harder to sell and they're usually bread and butter. But this one was a good one. So I can't remember if he gave me these or not. I got these at a garage sale and I want to say I paid between five and eight dollars a piece for them. They were new with tags, Disney store, stitch and angel, Easter edition, stuffed plush. 
I ended up selling these for $72 free shipping. The next item is this vintage 1998 Harmony Kingdom Christmas ornaments hidden compartment. Now, I found a bunch of these Harmony Kingdom at a garage sale and I, I've never heard of it, but comps on some of them are really good, but you can see they open up and have a hidden compartment. Uh, definitely look them up if you see them. If you see this brand, some go for more than others. These were in the original box. I ended up selling this for $61 free shipping. The next item here are these vintage double 12 express dominoes. I think maybe I could have had some better keywords in the title. This took forever to sell, but um, I think I paid a couple bucks for it. And I, it's just one of those old vintage, very cool items. And I was happy to see it find a good home. This is so old that it was back. Um, I listed it when I, I relisted it. So maybe that gave it a little bit of a boost. But um, a lot of times on Mercari, if your listings get stale, you can relist them. So it I posted it on January 11th of 22. And it sold March 24th of 22. I have not posted a Mercari video for a while. So I do apologize. Some of these are going back a little bit. Um, I think to March. And I sold this for $30. And I did use uh, Mercari delivery on that. These are Disney fairy books, a lot of 15 of these. Uh, anytime I find book sets, I will pick them up. 43 people are watching this. Um, if you can get the complete set, that's great. I don't think this was a complete set, but I still sold these for $65 free shipping. I get these at garage sales and thrift stores, and uh, I don't do a ton of books, but the series like this, I will pick up. This is a Talking Bar Master Excalibur Electronics. I don't even recall where I got this. This listing is so old, but relisting it gave it a boost in the search and it ended up selling for $20 free shipping. The next item is this Disney Store Anna Frozen Princess Plush. I got this at a garage sale. I believe it was $3. I do pay up a little more for the Disney Store items because they typically sell at a, you know, the sell through rates pretty good. Um, I feel like having your items on Poshmark and Mercari is a good idea for items that are flooded on eBay. Sometimes they'll sell a little faster on the smaller platforms. The next item are these gold bug jelly shoes. I was at a garage sale and I bought a tote full of kids clothing that a girl used on her baby dolls. So all of the clothes were like in mint, never laundered, you know, just really nice condition, hardly played with. And these little shoes were in there. And I ended up selling these for $16 free shipping. And I don't know, I probably had a quarter in them. This here is a Walt Disney baby 24 month denim overalls. Again, anything that has like Disney or Mickey Mouse, different things like that. If I see it at a garage sale and it's like a buck or less, I will pick it up because generally these items do pretty good on Mercari and Poshmark. And I sell them on eBay also. But this ended up selling for $32 free shipping. The next item are Glimmies. I got these at the Toys R Us going out of business sale. And I filled my cart and I am getting down to um, not having very many left. So not a big money bolo. I think I got these when they were 90% off. I want to say this long one was 10 or $20 new. I think maybe it was 12. So I had about maybe $2 in all of these. And I sold these for $20 free shipping. Hello Kitty Plush. Again, just a really uh, generic, not very fancy title. And it still sold. Uh, I think I only put this one on Mercari for some reason. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll just be like going through stuff. And if it's something I think that's probably not going to do well on eBay, I'll just put it on the platform that I think it'll sell best on. But most of the time I put everything on eBay. eBay is my number one, but I sold this for $11 free shipping. So just a major bread and butter there. The next item is this Captain John Smith Disney doll. And I got this probably in a bulk lot of toys or a mystery toy box. I can't remember, but I sold this guy for $20 free shipping. And if you want to learn more about plush, 
go check out the rebel reseller. Her channel is amazing and it is growing like crazy. She's just fantastic. Her and her husband, check them out. The next item is this Halloween VHS blockbuster presents running time, 93 minutes, not 91 sealed. So when I was looking up comps, most of them said 91 minutes and mine said 93. So I just put that in the title. I don't know if it made a difference or not. What I will tell you is this is where cross posting pays off. This item was saturated on eBay. Uh, there's no way. I don't think that I would have gotten $76 free shipping on eBay for this item. Uh, it sold for $76 free shipping. I was super excited about that. And this is just, I feel like a great Mercari item. The next item is this Blaze and the Monster Machine Diecast race car pickle vehicle. That's the, the vehicle is called pickle. And I, I buy toys in bulk all the time. So probably 50 cents, maybe a quarter or less in this. And this sold for $19 with free shipping. Blaze and the Monster Machine die cast cars do fantastic. Definitely a good pickup if you can get them for the right price. This came from my hashtag Ben's 10 challenge. Um, what I did is I created a challenge for my Bolo Buddies members. So they are members of this channel. They have joined memberships. And sometimes I do like bonus fun videos. And it was a collaboration video and I sent them into the Goodwill bins on a scavenger hunt for 10 items. Super fun. Um, I also was a part of that competition. Uh, Rural Squirrel won the challenge. So go check out her YouTube channel. She is like a bins bolo finder. All of her videos are about the Goodwill bins. She has competitions with other YouTubers. It is a super fun channel to watch. Highly recommend it. Check her out. But this is one of the items that I picked up. I can't remember if it was my toy or if it was plush, which category it was. But you can check out all of those videos. Just put hashtag Ben's 10 into the YouTube search bar and it will pull it up and you can go see everyone's videos. And this guy sold for $25 free shipping. He sold so fast. It was just fantastic. Um, looks like I posted March 26th and it sold April 5th. So really quick sale for a plush. And it says FIFA, F-I-F-A, World Cup Russia, Zam, ah, Bivaka, mascot plush toy soccer with tags, 2018. The next item is this vintage Easter plastic chick duck from Hong Kong. And it has 955 on it. You guys, I'm like, I'm going to try to sell this. I think somebody's going to buy it. And I couldn't, um, I tried searching it. I couldn't find any comps or anything like that. So I just put the information from the bottom of it into the title. And believe it or not, this sold for $14 and it sold in like seven days. Maybe it was eight days. So a super fast sale also, just incredible. Such weird things just sell. The next item came from the Goodwill bins. I picked this horse up. I sat it down. I picked it up again. I used Google Lens and I am sure glad that I did. I had no idea, but it is a vintage Lord of the Rings Marvel Entertainment horse action figure and $1.79 a pound. So I'm guessing I had two bucks or less in this. And I sold this for $51 plus shipping or free shipping. I'm sorry, free shipping on that one. And again, sold in about two weeks. This express dress, this is not a hard goods. Um, I do sell clothing. Uh, a lot of the clothing that I have listed has stuff that's been listed a long time. Um, I'm one of those that I list it and forget it. And I used to be a clothing reseller. So I had duplicates and multiples of lots of my items. I probably had a hundred of these dresses in various sizes. And I probably have maybe 20 left. This has been a good seller for me. Uh, just making money over and over and over again. I have sold these on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. They do sell higher on Poshmark and Mercari than eBay. So another good reason to cross post. Sold this for $36 free shipping. And I do have that in an extra small, small, and medium still available. This little vintage spoon, Carlton Betty Lou. I think this came out of a mystery box, if I remember correctly, from Donatella Bottolino. I purchase mystery boxes off of her YouTube channel and I also buy things at her auctions and her and auctions for you team up together. They go on each other's channels and they 
wholesale items out to resellers and you can find some amazing deals. Uh, definitely check them out. I'll have them linked down below. Um, I have bought on them on, I have bought from them on several occasions. I like to do unboxings on my channel. So if you guys want to see things that I bought from them, I do keep them educational and I pop up screenshots of what has sold and how I listed everything. This spoon sold for $12 free shipping. This is a Simpsons WOS Bowl o rama Sea Details, uh, World of Springfield. And this, this one took a long time to sell. I picked up a whole bunch of these at a thrift store and I was just gonna sell it as one big lot of figures and get rid of these little play sets. And my husband's like, what are you talking about? And he took the time, I had the little cards and he sorted them and put the people with the little play set and I listed them. So really appreciate that he did that for me because I sold them for way more because he did that. Um, I could only get one figure to work on this one. So I did sell this one for less and it did take longer to sell probably for that reason. Sold this for $36 free shipping. The next item is another Blaze in the Monster Machine die cast truck, and I sold this for $12 free shipping. This is a vintage faux tortoise shell made in France hair barrette clip. Nothing special about it. Picked this up in um, a bulk lot of hair accessories. I have an unboxing on my channel. There were some brettes in there that I sold for big money. You should definitely go check out that video. Super educational. Uh, things that I learned from going through that bag that I didn't know about. So great way to learn. Uh, sold this for $19 free shipping and faux tortoise shell seems to do pretty good. The next item is this vintage 1997 Fisher Price roll around face activity toys, bar boat, car, and train. I believe this came out of a mystery toy box that I purchased from auctions for you. Um, I talked about her earlier. She will be linked down below. Sold these for $20 free shipping. The next item here is this Lula Row Disney Randy Minnie Mouse. Uh, this has been listed forever. Um, I know that because I remember when I bought it. And I was at a thrift store and they had a bunch of the Lula Row. Lula Row. I don't say that very good. I want to like space it out. Um, and I know it's supposed to flow more but they had all the Disney shirts. And I'm like, okay, I know that this is like not something I should pick up, but they were Disney and Halloween. And I'm like, what about the people that are like going to Disney and they want a shirt with Mickey Mouse on it or whatever. So I ended up paying $3 a piece for these and they're selling slowly. But um, do I pick up this brand on a regular basis? No, but I, I would call this probably a mistake. Um, but they are selling, so I'm still making money. Sold it for $14, and the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item are these lot of two vintage Barbie dolls. Uh, they had issues. Let me show you here. Look at their faces. I almost did not list these, and um, their legs do not hold all the positions. They are vintage, though, and I thought that maybe somebody would pick them up. They did take a long time to sell, but I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, even these items that are damaged and have issues, it, see the back of the leg is split. You definitely want to show photos of that. Uh, they will sell for parts. I sold these for $26 free shipping. The next item here is this vintage German Santa Claus Figaro Smoker Incense Burner Christmas Wooden. I picked this up at a... Um, oh, it was a mystery box. That's right. I think. Or no, wait. It was a garage sale. I can't remember but I probably paid two bucks or less for it. And I sold this for $64 free shipping. The next item came from the Goodwill bins. I dug these out of the bins. Uh, early learning, colorful assorted bugs, insects, counters, educational toys. Sold these for $20 free shipping. And the next item here is a Loving Family Dollhouse Laundry Washer. And I sold this for $20 free shipping. I pick up Loving Family in bulk typically with a dollhouse, without a dollhouse. Um, you can find these at garage sales. Facebook Marketplace is a great place, but usually on Facebook Marketplace, um, they're priced a little bit higher. So I like picking them up at garage sales. 
All right, you guys, that was 32 items that I sold on Mercari. Again, check out that list perfectly video down below. And if you want to try it, Bolo Buddies, all one word, will get you 30% off your first month. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button if you're new here. I'd love for you to subscribe. Check out my channel for what sold videos for my eBay and Poshmark. And then I also do featured members videos. I do category videos, tons and tons of Bolo content. So thanks for watching.